Oh my gosh. I dyed my hair again. It looks really good right now. I really like how my hair works. Right, looks right now. Welcome to um, Owen Page Let's Plays. Uh, so in this episode, I'm doing the uh, fucking the Zora quest. I don't remember how to start it. Do you just talk to Nyona? Yeah, it's right here. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I am so sorry. Everyone up here has been treated now, but we have used up all our spla all of the splash fruit. There were more injuries than anticipated. Please accept my apology. You have nothing to apologize for. You, you did what had to be done. Most importantly, I am grateful that everyone is all right. Now, if only we could do something about that statue. I'll do something. You there, are you a traveler? I am sorry that we, I did not notice you until now. I was focused on a matter of great importance. Throws Des Moines is in troubled times at present due to, due to the sludge falling from the sky. Things have finally calmed down, at least for the moment. However, this place remains covered in sludge. Such a shame as this popular, particular Zora is, as this particular Zora statue is so incredibly important to the Zora of Des Moines. We were just discussing how we need to wash away the sludge. I, I apologize that I cannot provide a great deal of hospitality. Please do make yourself at home here. I just, right? That's not, <laughs> that's really funny, actually. Um, there we go, this. That easy? Okay. The sludge. Who said that? I see you managed to wash it away. That statue is a symbol of hope for the Bazora. It is very precious to us. Thank you so much for clearing it up. In truth, that statue depicts the majestic forms of the pair who saved this cherished domain in the past. That is right, beloved Prince Sidon of the Zora and his very best friend, Sir Link, the heroic Hylian swordsman. It is simply wonderful, is it not? How I would love to meet him someday. <gasps> Say, you have a similar statue to the Hylian here, similar eyes as well. Oh my, and you're also a Hylian and a swordsman. Wait, could it be? <laughs> Are you Link, the swordsman of the Latin? Oh my gosh. Ahem, please remember to mind your manners, Chroma. Oh, um, please accept my apology. Yes, please pardon our, rudement, our rudeness. I'm quite surprised to learn that you are the legendary swordsman, Sir Link. I have heard, I have heard mention of you nearby every day since I first arrived at this domain. I am Prince Sidon's... Oh, forgive me, I am your best friend's fiancé. Shh. My name is Yona. I am truly honored to have the opportunity to meet you, Sir Link. Oh, shut up. I had heard that you were missing along with Princess Zelda. If I may ask, what brings you here? To think that such a thing took place beneath Hyrule Castle, and now you are traveling the kingdom to investigate. So your search for Princess Zelda is what brought you to this domain. In that case, feel free to investigate. The area around the domain is as, as thoroughly as you see fit, or explore it. I think, oh, I have a lovely idea. If you do not mind, I ask that you please go and meet with Sidon. I am certain that he would be delighted to see you. Sidon can be, I know. Yeah, be on your way. And don't talk to me again. Yeah, go away. I need to get the Zora armor from her, actually. So. You can get it from her right now, right? She just needs an ancient arowana. And I just got one of those. Um... 
40 episodes ago, over 40 episodes ago, I got that. So, I guess I really prepared. Oh, this guy's messed up. Lady Yona, Sir Link is here at last. Oh, you really came. How fortuitous. I, okay. Yeah. Here you go. Sorry, I just want to get it. I am so honored to reunite you with this item, dear Link. Why did it get taken out of my possession anyways? Your armor is as good as new. Oh my gosh. Wait, there was that one really interesting looking waterfall. Was it right here? I think it was like all the way over here. It was far. I don't remember where I saw it. Never mind. There was a really big thing I wanted to climb. Cause it was like this huge waterfall that led all the way to a sky island. I think it was last episode or the episode before. Come on, let me. I really, wow. Wow. Okay. Wait. No. Why can't I use the Zora armor to sc Okay. What if I go in the wa in the hidden waterfall early? Cause it's over here, right? It's this waterfall. I believe it's this waterfall that. Whoa. Wait. There's something inside it. Wait. Oh, don't throw my weapon. Okay, there we go. There's, there's something stuck in here. I don't know. Um. I believe that it's behind here. I've always wondered what happens if you go behind the waterfall early. <gasps> oh my gosh. Can I just skip this entire part? <gasps> King Dorfian! Hold my ever-loving Muzu. If you speak in such a way without... Oh, wait. Why does Muzu hate Link? If you speak such a... Hello, Link. It has been some time since we last spoke. I had received word that you went missing alongside with Princess Zelda. Why have you come here? Well, well, to think that such a thing should transpire for the hero of Hyrule and Princess Zelda. You expect us to believe that Princess Zelda simply disappeared just like that? Do not solely our ears with your lies. I saw Princess Zelda with my own hand, with my own eyes, right after the phenomenon at Hyrule Castle took place. Calm yourself, Muzu. Link's eyes betray no hint of deception. He remains a trusted friend of the Zora. There must be an explanation. Link, I will now tell you what happened once we last saw for Princess Zelda, as well as the reason behind my seclusion here in the pristine sanctum. We encountered Pr Princess Zelda right just after Hyrule Castle ascended into the sky. Floating islands appeared as if from nowhere, sludge and fragments of ruins began raining down. 
Muzu and I had left the domain to investigate these, instra- these strange occurrences. That is when it happened. Princess Zelda descended from the sky accommodated by a sludge monster. What happened next took us by surprise. She then unleashed this beast upon us. King Dorfin valiantly vanquished the threat. However, he was gravely injured by the sludge during uh, the battle. As for Princess Zelda, she vanished without a trace. If word got out that Princess Zelda lost her mind and harmed the Zora King, the Zora King, the resulting turmoil would be devastating. That is why we are temporary, temporarily remaining hidden within this priest with the priestine sanctum. According to your story, Princess Zelda disappeared with, suddenly in the depths beneath Hyrule Castle. On the other hand, she suddenly appeared near Dor- Zora's domain and unreasonably uh, upon us. I can't read but out loud like that so so much. The waters of truth have become a murkier still. But from the Zora perspective, one thing is clear. It all leads back to the sky. This disaster, the sludge, the monster, and even Princess Zelda. It may well be that the answer to these riddles can only be found skyward. Ah, Sidon ordered Giotto, a historian well acquainted with ruins, to investigate. I wonder if any progress has been made. What does that do to my quest? Okay, so I'm supposed to talk to Sidon now. Can I ascend out of here? I just want to try. Whoa, this place is cool. What the heck? <gasps> I'm gonna... I'm gonna swim out of it. <gasps> it is! It's not just a stupid decoration. Wait. Wait. What if I do it from this side? Oh, they thought of it, and then I go at the other end. What's this? Whoa, that's really cool. That's really rad that there's that little secret. That's cool. Is that how you're... That must be an alternate way of finding it. I've never seen that. So they're up on Ploymus Mountain. That's where the... Oh my gosh. That's, this is where the Lionel was in um, Breath of the Wild. Okay. I'm going to do the shrine. Sorry, I haven't filmed in a while. Um, that's why I'm out of it. No! Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> oh I don't think I was supposed to do that Sorry I don't know why I made that noise <laughs> Oh that's horrible Why would I do such a thing Oh no! What the hell? Oh, I need to fuse it though. I've got to fuse it. Oh, whoa. That's so rad. That's not. 
Um, I'm wasting all my time. Oh, that's smart level design is that they put the little ladders. So if you get stuck, you can... Oh my fucking god. I did it too. How'd I die? I feel so dumb. I don't even know why I swung my weapon like that. I just was like, I should swing my weapon just for fun, for style. But I didn't realize that that was, whoa, that's a cool visual effect. Do it again. It, I, I don't know what it was. It like went like for a second. I have the hiccups. Oh. I don't think I've ever gotten the hiccups on Owen Page Let's Plays before. Well, if I hiccup again, that must that might have just been a weird thing. Um, I totally hiccuped right there. You guys heard that too. Have to have. Um, I wonder what would happen if I got the hiccups on Owen Page Let's Plays. Like what the. like what the backup plan would be you know if i were to get the hiccups on Owen page let's plays what the hell would happen next i'm gonna use my worst bow uh this is my worst bow that's rad No! Uh, uh. Does this work? Oh. Oh, it doesn't even go that fast. Oh, that's not even that fast. It only pushes these little guys. Wait, what happens if I push this little guy? When it's not floating, does it just go like... Bah. Oh, dang. <gasps> Yay! This is an interesting mechanic. These floaty guys, do they, are they actually useful um, in building? Well, of course they are, but how so? Wait, I want it to fall on my head. I'm wasting my time. I could have had this shrine done so fast. Oh, imagine I died when that happened though. I have two hearts left. No wonder I have two hearts left when I'm wasting them with that kind of BS. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't even... I don't even have words for that. That's hilarious. Um, good, good one, Nintendo. Wasting, oh, wasting the time, wasting my time. Um, okay. <gasps> okay, I thought I was gonna fall again. This is like the worst shrine in the game. I have a personal grudge against this shrine because it keeps screwing me over. On purpose, too. OK. 
Can I do this? I probably can't, but it's fun to believe. Okay, well, why'd I waste it then? Why didn't I get on it too? That was like better. Can I take damage from this? I'm an idiot. Why did I want to know? What? Oh, okay. Why did I do that? <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's horrible. No. Okay. That was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Um, but it's all right. Um, I'm, I'm going to be okay. I can't believe that happened twice. Good night. Ah! Good night. You startled me. Look what happened. Love you, Patrick. Love you, Dad. Okay. Patrick is my secret name in Fortnite. Whenever I'm playing it with my little sister, Amber. Amber's her fake name. Um. Okay. Oh, I should, there's a, is, there must, there is a goddess statue in Zoro's domain. I just have never bothered to look where it is. So I don't know. It's probably somewhere really obvious. I'm going to go find it. I feel like I have, uh, actually, I feel like I have a very vague memory of using a goddess statue. I'll fi I'm fine. Oh my gosh, it's side on. Why is he T posing? That's a cool visual effect. Okay. Link, it has been far too long. I received word that you had gone missing and was beside myself with concern. Whatever could have transpired? No. To think something like that could have taken place beneath Hyrule Castle. You explained it that fast. And afterwards... Ah, oh, my apologies. I have actually been wondering if those flowing skylines could be the source of the falling sludge. Yeah, it's falling from them. I don't care. Okay, sorry. You see, old friend, this place is the source of the water that flows into Zora's domain. That is why I must use my power of water manipulation to separate the sludge from our water in order to clean it. If I cease, then the sullied water will flow into our beloved home, and there will be much pain and suffering. That is why I cannot afford to leave here, no matter what. Say, Link. Does it? Okay. 
Yeah, I gotta talk to the... Oh my god. So now what do I do? I'm sorry. Why would it not give me a waypoint to Toto Lake then? Oh, I should go to the depths one day. Did I just see a falling rock? I did. That is my key to Toto Lake. Just get on it and paraglide to um, Toto Lake. Sorry, that was my chin. I just banged my chin really hard on the tripod arm. Please be water, okay. I wasn't sure if that was puddle or a water. Of course it's water. I wasn't sure if it was like a puddle or, or what. This is literally just poop. It's straight up poop. Why is there poop falling out of the sky? No, help, I'm drowning in poop. Okay. What if I just fix this guy's thing without having to ask? Without him having to ask me to? Oh, come on. Don't waste my 15 splash fruit. Are you kidding me? I still can't believe I died like three times on that shrine. That is sickening. is this guy? What has he ever done? Oh, uh, shut up, you flop. I, I just want to get to the Zora. I literally could have done this so fast. Right. Um. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go over here. It looks like a whale or a shark. Um, I gotta go over here and then wait, no. What do I do? I'm sorry, I'm rushing things. Oh, uh, I have to talk to Fikin Dorfian. Now I have to, it doesn't matter, okay. I honestly don't, I, so I, the reason I'm doing this one pretty well is because oh, my headphones just turned off. The reason I'm doing this one pretty well is because on my second playthrough, um, where I'm playing the game without using fast travel, except for very specific occasions. By that, I mean I'm allowed to teleport out of the depths, but only if I'm using only if I teleport from a light route to a sh to the shrine directly above it. Uh, and I can the only place that isn't that that I can teleport to is. Um, the Room of Awakening, because it forces you to at the start. And also I have to to get like out of like the Lost Cork Forest and stuff, not Lost Woods, Cork Forest. Cork Forest is in the Lost Woods, but the Lost Woods is not in Cork Forest. Yes it is, what the fuck? 